Hi everyone, this is Kim and I'm going to walk you through some of the new features of your 10 Marks subscription. The first thing you'll notice when you log into 10 Marks is instead of going directly to your classroom homepage, you are directed to this page where you have an option to go to either 10 Marks Math or Math Teach. The Math program is the product that we have been using all along and have a paid subscription to. Uh, if you click on it, which I'm going to do real quick here, you'll notice there are just a couple of changes in the layout, but nothing that should stand out um, or change the way you do things. Down here, there's a new calendar view. That's a little um, easier to see what's going on in your class. And then the support pages have moved up uh, under my account. If you notice any other changes to your 10 Marks Math program that you think is uh, important to share out with folks, please let me know, but I haven't noticed anything um, that would probably really rock the boat for you right now. All right, I'm going to go back to that page where you had the 10 Marks Math Teach as an option because that is what is generating the most questions right now. 10 Marks Math Teach is different than 10 Marks Math. 10 Marks Math is assignment and assessment and reporting, and 10 Marks Math Teach is a curriculum. This is being offered to us currently in preview only, but soon we'll be offered a code to unlock the full premium product for the remainder of the school year. We are going to offer this to you as something to add to your toolkit for the year, um, but there's no promises that it will be available for next year, depending on um, the quality of the content and the costs associated with it. We figure right now if um, you need something and this is a helpful tool, you are welcome but not required to utilize it as uh, another tool to add um, in the matrix of items that we're using along with the Georgia unit. That all being said, let's click on it and see what is available. When you click on 10 Marks Teach for the first time, you will actually be brought to a page that looks like this initially. You can select up to three grade levels to have content um, provided to you for. So I would suggest the, the grade level that you teach and the grade level below and above are the three that you select. And then the bottom area asks for school information. We don't have codes yet, but um, if you're interested in a code, please click on the form that's in the email that we're sending and sign up to get a code. And um, you don't need to apply for it because it automatically will be coming to us because of our um, premium subscription that we currently have to the 10 Marks Teach program and our cooperation with the company in providing feedback. So again, all you have to do is pick your three grade levels and then click sign up and you'll get access. Once you have access and you're in your grade levels, you'll see a page like this. Uh, the class progress is outlined down the side so you can see how far under each domain you've accomplished each um, activity. You can manage the ordering of activities by clicking on manage. And up here in the upper right hand corner you'll notice it says free trial still. That's because I haven't used one of those upgrade codes yet. Again, they will be providing those in the next couple of weeks. And if you're interested in getting the full upgrade code, please click on the link in the email um, that this video came in to sign up for an upgrade code. Over here on the left hand side, if you click on this um, menu here, you have an option to toggle to different um, grade level curriculums, uh, to explore items, or to click on your favorites. I'm going to click on explore here and show you some neat features of this. Under explore, you can either look at the items by lesson under each grade level, or you can drop down and choose videos and amplifiers um, for each particular um, standard. So these would be the videos that are used as hints in each one of the lessons that your students are currently taking with the 10 Marks Math program and the amplifiers that they receive if they are under 70%. 10 Marks heard the requests from teachers and heard that they were doing things like setting up demo accounts to get to them or purposely tanking assignments in order to have access to the amplifiers. And so this is their way of providing those to you without having to go through all that trouble. I'll click on videos here and show you that you can access now all the videos under each domain and each standard and substandard. And the same with amplifiers. If I go back up here to the um, uh, settings menu, it kind of looks like a settings, but I guess it's an explore menu. Um, you can also click on my favorites. As you find items that are um, particularly useful to you in your curriculum, 
You can mark the heart on it as a favorite, something you love, and it will be saved under My Faves for um, quick access. All right, so I'm going to go back to my curriculum, and I'm going to choose third grade here and uh, give you a little walkthrough. I apologize ahead of time if I fumble through any of this. This is all new to me, too. Um, so uh, right now, we're only getting this limited preview, so you'll notice off to the side it says um, one out of four. But of course, as we get out of the free trial version and into the premium, there'll be many more lessons available to preview. Each lesson has a nice little um, description here, gives the standard that it is um, supposed to target and the prerequisite standards that lead up to the standard. <coughs> Excuse me. These would be a great place for you to maybe start with the 10 marks math product and assess students um, as a pre-assessment before you get to each one of these lessons to kind of have a better feel for how they're doing on that standard. Or if there's another tool that you happen to be using to um, assess students' knowledge on the basic computation of standards, you could use this as um, uh, a guide. Up here they have a rating, so if you find that this particular um, lesson was great or needed some constructive feedback, you can click on rating and um, provide some information back to 10 marks about what you like or dislike about this particular lesson. I'm going to click on lesson to begin it. Again, standards and prerequisites are listed up here. The learning objectives, which could easily be turned into learning targets, are listed right here. A couple other features to note here. Um, over on the left hand side, it looks just like a number three, but if I click on it, it takes me out to what's called a learning trajectory. If I zoom out a little bit, you'll see that they're just targeting where this falls in the progression of learning for each grade level. And if I zoom out even more, um, you'll see this is second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and I can zoom back in and um, move this to where I, I want to see it for better understanding. I'm going to close this. Our rep had shown us um, a tool that looked like this tree up here, and I can't seem to access it right now, so I'm wondering if it's something they're working on today. But um, she had initially showed us that we could click on um, the standard or this tree right here, and it would give us the standard above it, um, each one of the learning objectives into the branch, and then it had an, and just a nice visual that the root knowledge, um, what those particular learning targets were that they needed to have in order to achieve these other higher level standards. I thought that was a great visual. I'm thinking when the product is complete in the next week or so, you'll click right here to get access to that, but I, I have not figured that one out again. Um, then if I click on start, you'll actually access this individual lesson. In the lesson, um, to see all the different parts and pieces of it, you'll want to scroll to the bottom and you'll see here that this um, bottom area has a menu with all the different tools for the lesson. If I move my mouse outside of the bottom area, that menu disappears. So again, if I put my mouse down there, it pops back up. Okay. The first tool on the toolbar are assess readiness tasks. These are different questions you can work through with your students to try to understand um, what kind of prior knowledge they have and if they're ready to complete the task at hand. The next item on the menu are misconceptions. Um, just like on your 10 marks math program, how it lists the three most common mistakes, um, these are the three to four most common misconceptions for the particular standard that you're teaching. I think this would be a great item to share with parents as well as discuss with students. To share it with parents, you might just want to take a screenshot um, using a tool like Awesome Screenshot off of your Chrome browser and then add that into um, your weekly newsletter. The next item over are warm-ups and they offer a few different warm-ups so you can kind of get your students practicing. On the warm-ups and the different, um, what do they call them, focus items, they have three different parts to it. So up here is the work area that you could project out for students and over here is the guided lesson for the teachers. So this would be more the questioning, and um, to move through each item, you hit the arrow. So we have our questions up here, and they give answers underneath it as I hit the arrows. And you'll see the workspace um, filling with examples that go along with the kind of questioning you have. 
If you don't want to show this questioning to students, you can toggle that shut um, so students aren't seeing that list view up there. And then open it back up if you need some assistance. All right, let's look at the focus tasks. Focus tasks are set up in a similar fashion. And much like the tasks that are provided to you through um, the Georgia units, we are not saying that you need to accomplish every task, nor is Tenmark saying that you need to accomplish every focus item, but rather pick the items that best fit the needs of your students as you, as you have um, pre-assessed and gathered um, understanding of where they're at. So let me show you some different tasks. If I um, click on focus one, this one is for quotative division in parts of an equation. And again, this is the area that students might see um, up on a screen where you um, are going to be sharing some visuals about the learning. And over here, we have some prompts. As I click on the arrow down here, you will be guided through as an instructor how to deal with each item. As you um, move to other areas of progression in the task or the, um, the focus skill, the screen will also change along with the new knowledge that's presented. All right. And then finally on the bottom, there are some extend activities. Here the extend activities um, are items that tie in your English language art standards with the math standards um, and provide some um, other ways to look at math understanding. Another item to do right here at this extend understanding would be to go back to your 10 marks math um, tool and assign practice to students and potentially assign an assessment as you find that students are prepared for the final uh, assessment. Once you're done with the lesson, if you click on finish, you have the option here as an instructor to mark it as complete, to close the lesson, or just to keep the lesson open if you find that your students still need to have more practice and understanding of this um, uh, activity. So that was a kind of a quick and dirty walkthrough of what the 10 Marks Teach program is. I'm still going to be learning a lot about it along with you, but if you're interested in getting, again, the full premium view of all the lessons, please go to the email that this video came in and look for um, a Google Form survey so you can sign up for the full premium package and get that um, premium access code once we receive it too. Thanks so much. Contact me with any questions.